Hey everyone, it is Friday, August 26th. The time is 6.40 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 22 degrees Celsius. And this here is Eglinton Avenue West. And I think that is Miranda Avenue. And I'm currently walking east along the north side of Eglinton. And for this one, I'm going to make my way over to Dufferin Street, and that's where the Sinting Fest on Eglinton begins. So Eglinton should be closed. Two vehicles between Dufferin and I think Marley Avenue. And that'll take us right through the heart of Little Jamaica. And then I'll probably continue on walking east from there. I'm not sure how far, maybe to either Eglinton West Station or I'll go all the way over to Bathurst. It's good to see some people out on the patios in this area. And Singting Fest is a three day event. And according to their website, it is designed to revitalize Toronto's little Jamaica neighborhood. And that's taking place between the 26th, which is today, and the 28th. And it kicked off tonight at 6 p.m. And things should be wrapping up at 11 p.m. And then it'll be back on tomorrow from 10 till 11. And on, on Sunday, I think it'll be going from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And any time you get to walk a major street like Eglinton, while it's been closed to vehicle traffic, I think it's always worth checking out. I think this is the first time this particular festival has been held. Eglinton should be closed just beyond Dufferin Street, which is coming up in a few blocks. Feels like it's been a while since I've walked through this neighborhood. Not sure what that's all about. Airbank Village BIA. The pot spot. And here's a sneak peek at what I think will be the bicycle infrastructure along this stretch of Eglinton. It's rather inconsistent on both Eglinton West and Eglinton East. But there is a curb between the future bike lane and the street. That's a good thing. Although the bike lane itself looks to be a rather awkward width. It's a little too narrow, I would think, to safely pass on it. 
if it were just a bit wider, maybe able to accommodate that. And here is the future Dufferin LRT station. So this is Dufferin and Eglinton. So the heart of Little Jamaica is at Oakwood and Eglinton. And I think there's a big stage there. I see a lot of trucks on the street just up ahead. I'm sure it'll be a much different scene later this evening as well as on the weekend. Well, I'm not sure I'd have another opportunity to come visit. That's why I chose to come right now. Southeast entrance to the LRT station. So since about 2017, this area has been ravaged by LRT construction. And there's been construction hoarding along both sides of the street, making it difficult to access a lot of the businesses. And during that time, a lot of businesses went under. Here's one of the stages. I think the website said there would be a performance from 6 p.m. tonight, but that does not seem to be the case. There's a food vendor just getting set up. I just kind of assumed things would be set up and running by now. And they advertise there being music, dance, children's activities, fashion, food, and more food. And according to the website, the event is a multi-pronged effort to promote Little Jamaica and help sustain the culture and businesses on the avenue. It's a combination of a food festival with other food vendors showcasing a variety of food. And there is a mattress vendor. And there will be food demos by local chefs and chefs from the Caribbean. There's Jane's Bar and Grill. Cheryl's Caribbean Cuisine.
Little Jamaica and the Eglinton West neighborhood map. I'm not sure what kind of crowds will be coming later tonight. And between the 70s and 80s, this area, which is also known as Eglinton West, had one of the largest Jamaican expat populations in the world. And I think outside of Jamaica, I also saw the most reggae music produced around here. So this is Glenholm Avenue. Hopefully people come out and support the event in the neighborhood, which sadly doesn't have an official designation by the city as Little Jamaica. There used to be a really popular place called Randy's Patties coming up that closed down earlier this year. There's Supreme Juice Bar, the Reggae Cafe, Around, we're going to shell the place. We're going to show them a Supreme Force make out of. And when the Reggae Cafe create, you create history. So it's called the Sinting Fest. And I think Sinting is a Jamaican patois word for something. I think this would be the main stage here at Oakwood, right next to the future home of the Oakwood LRT station. And they're supposed to have an official opening ceremonies, I think at 7.30 tonight. <laughs> it certainly doesn't look like they're ready for that yet, but who knows? An impressive looking stage. And there's Randy's Takeout, which has been a staple of this neighborhood, I think, since 1979. And they closed down earlier this year. And Drake said he would save the business and buy it. But I don't think that turned out to be true. They've got their grills all fired up.
one thing I think they've done really well is limit it to local vendors. I'm not seeing all the usual suspects in terms of food trucks and that sort of thing. Although I do think it was a little disingenuous to say it started at six. I figured there might be light crowds at that time, but <laughs> I thought the festival would at least be underway. That is the hot pot restaurant. Here's probably the most famous restaurant in the area. There's Raps Chicken. It's not uncommon to see a lot of people in front of there. And <laughs> that is the end of the festival. Here's Reggae Lane. And it looks like they've got a screening area set up. Be projecting something onto that screen. And now I'll just continue west for a bit, or rather east. That car didn't stop until the last second there. And a look west directly into the sun. I'm going to have to check that website again and double check that <laughs> 6 p.m. start time. There is someone with a 9-bot Max scooter. So normally the 32 Eglinton bus would just continue on its merry way west along Eglinton, but they are diverting, that was a close call, north here at Marley. And then they're going along, I think, a combination of Castlefield and Roselawn, and then Heading south down Dufferin back to Eglinton. Where's this lady going? She's got her left indicator on. Do not block intersection. I think they should turn that sign around and face it the other way. If you came <laughs> looking for the festival, I apologize. It's still an interesting opportunity to see Eglinton in a unique state. And there it is. 
is the future Cedarvale Station, currently known as Eglinton West Station, and it currently serves the western portion of Line 1. And for the longest time here on Eglinton, you'd get diverted south through a park. You wouldn't be able to just continue walking along Eglinton Avenue. Hopefully that's been fixed. And this intersection is always a bit of a mess. This is where the Allen Road comes to an end. That lady had <laughs> no intentions of stepping one foot to the right. So there's the Allen Road, which was originally to be the Allen Expressway. It would have been quite disastrous had it have been built. It would have gone south all the way down to the Gardner. And Chinatown as we know it would not exist, as it was originally rooted to go right through what is now Chinatown. There's the old Eglinton West Station. And they're taking up another block. In fact, this is now taking up three blocks. The below ground LRT stations seem to take up an immense amount of real estate along Eglinton. More than even a lot of the downtown subway stations take up. Here's where you would jump onto the Allen Road northbound. I was riding my bike west on Eglinton and I got to a point where it was obviously too late and I saw a sign that said no bicycles on it. I'm going to turn around and see if I can find that sign in the other direction because I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do, so I just decided to stick to Eglinton. I think it was right around here. I'm pretty sure there was a no bicycle sign. I'll have to go back and look in that video I recorded.
and you can see what a mess traffic on Eglinton is. At least it's much better now that the tunneling is done and most of the construction has been removed. So I'm gonna, I think, continue west here till Bathurst Street. signs of life. So this area is known as Cedarvale, which runs from Eglinton here to the north, south down to just north of St. Clair. Although it looks like the BIA along this stretch of Eglinton calls it the Upper Village. I don't live too far from here and I've never heard anyone call it that. Seems to be a bit more retail activity on the north side of the street. Let's cross over. Stopping before the line is a very difficult task, apparently. Who would have thought? There used to be a steak restaurant just up here on the left called House of Chan. And that's been a staple of this neighborhood. And that dates back to the late 50s. And they were known for their steaks, their lobsters, and Chinese cuisine. But that location got expropriated to build an LRT station. So I think that's a bit closer to Bathurst. And then the business relocated further to the east of here. This has always been a bit of a sleepy neighborhood. Korean sounds good. I'm gonna have to figure out dinner plans soon. Hey, people. It's not something we've seen a whole lot of on this one.
there's the Shoppers Drug Mart. And right across the street is their arch rival, Rexall. Either a rival or a partner in crime. I'm sure Shoppers is glad that Rexall exists, otherwise I think the monopoly word might be used. So those stores are kind of like a Canadian CVS to our American viewers. Beer is here. Walk-in, takeout, or delivery. That's a nice addition. Not a huge fan of Pizza Pizza, especially not their slices once they've been reheated. Hey, more bike lane. I think just on the left here is where the house of Chan was. That'll be an entrance to the LRT station. There's a sign on the door telling people to carry their skateboards. And there's a 32 bus. see if I can find my way onto the next one, but I'm going to have to follow this detour here. And there's no convenient spot to cross the road here. This will soon be known as the Forest Hill LRT station. So this is Bather Street. I can pull up the Rocket Man app here. See if I can figure out when the next bus is. All right. So doesn't seem to want to be finding my location here. I think I see the next bus off in the distance. Can I get to the stop in time? And the area to the north is known as Forest Hill North, and the area to the south is Forest Hill South. And I think that's a bus stop.
temporary stop. That's Old Forest Hill Road just off in that direction. There's a bus making its way in this direction. And way off in that direction is the intersection of Young and Eglinton and the heart of Midtown Toronto, and that's where I'm heading. So I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> somewhat disappointing walk through a car-free little Jamaica. The festival was not quite in full swing. I'm going to double check on the website if that was my error or if they were telling a fib. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. All right. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.